Some big news tonight involving the effort to fight ALS, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. An experimental drug is showing promise against one form of that devastating disease. Fox 2's Jeff Bernthal is live from the Center West End with why tonight's news is such a significant step forward. Jeff. Well, the uh, doctor that's been heading up the research here at Washington University School of Medicine has been working for years at ways to fight ALS, and tonight there is word of a big step towards success. LS is considered rare, but when you see how many families show up for events such as this walk in Forest Park raising money to fund research, you know how far the agony of living with Lou Gehrig's disease can reach. The debilitating disease takes away muscle control. We have such heroes that struggle and battle with this disease, and it's not just the person with ALS, it's the whole family, their whole support system. Breaking news like this gives a person with ALS the hope that they deserve. That breaking news is word an experimental drug called Tolferson could slow the progression of a certain type of ALS. For the families with this gene mutation, um, this, this is, uh, I, I think, a very important study. The clinical success involves a genetic form of ALS that's rare, but that success could lead to ways to fight other diseases. The pathway that we've defined, the way of doing this, the concept of targeting these gene products is exactly what can be done in, in a whole host of, uh, of other neurodegenerative uh, diseases and neurologic uh, diseases. Two clinical trial phases have been completed. The next phase will reveal more answers. Does the drug slow down the disease in a definitive way? And that's what the, this study has launched, that phase three. It's now um, already underway. And, and hopefully we'll show that, uh, continue to show the, these types of results that um, were slowing down the disease. According to Washington University School of Medicine, approximately 20,000 people in the United States are living with ALS. Reporting live from the Central West End, Jeff Bernthal, Fox 2 News.